Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jamie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're going to do an unboxing of this PR package that I got all the way from Korea. So that's gonna be so exciting. So you've probably seen this brand on my channel before as well because I've done a product review of their facial wash or their skincare line. If you haven't seen that video, then I'll make sure to leave it in the description box down below so you can check it out after watching this video. So this is the second collaboration that I have with Yada and and they sent me a few products and Lord did I feel like a freaking VIP when I got this in the mail they only have a few items in this box so don't think all crazy that I got so many stuff actually I only got one two three four I only have four items in this box so we're gonna go through them and we're gonna do a little bit of a review about them so without further ado Let's get started. So first, they sent me this box of Revitalizing Jelly Pack, which is a box of sheet masks. There are five pieces of sheet masks inside, and this is what it looks like individually. I'm pretty sure you can find this at Beauty Bar because the last time I was there, they haven't even sent me this package yet, and I've already seen it in the Philippines. So I really appreciate that they sent me a whole lot of this because I kind of need it, especially because young girl is stressed. Viana is really known for using Using all natural ingredients. The face mask actually includes ginger root extract, avocado, collagen, and fruit extract to really revitalize and support skin elasticity. And this is also super duper ideal for sensitive skin because the material of the face mask or the sheet mask itself is made out of cotton. So you can assure your sensitive self that your skin is going to be in good condition. Okay, so I'm not gonna try this out right now because I kind of have a full face of makeup on. So sayang naman if I take it off, then try this out. So I'm just gonna save this for next time. Maybe include it in my night routine and I'll be sure to let you guys know when I've tried it. And I'll make sure to film it so you guys can see how I use it as well. So moving on to the next product, we have a concealer. And this is the Anti-Tea Red Zero Concealer. And it comes in the shade Light Beige. I'm not sure of the range of shades that they have, but this is what they sent me. This concealer is also made out of all natural ingredients because I can't read Korean, but I know that Yada stays true to their ingredients and their advocacy. I've been using Yada for quite some time. I actually like their BB concealer and I also like their lip and cheek tints. You can see it in the box that it is made out of plant ingredients. To take the product out, you have to twist it and it pumps right away at the tip. I feel like this is too light on my skin because it says light beige. And usually the light beige range of Korean makeup brands are way, way, way too fair for my skin as compared to the light beige of Filipina skin. So this is what it looks like on my hand and at first dip, it looks so fair. So we're gonna try to blend it and yup, that's too light on my skin. But maybe it's gonna work better for under eyes. Yeah. Or maybe my pimple. I have so many pimples right now. As for the consistency of the concealer, I think it's pretty thick. Although it looks really heavy, it actually feels super lightweight on the skin. It doesn't have any bad smell too, so that's something I really love because a lot of people are sensitive to the scent. The last items in the box are actually two lipsticks. One is more on the muted or the nude kind of shade. The other one is more on the bold or the red side. It's actually what I have on my lips and this is in the shade Brick Red. But first, we're gonna talk about the packaging. Basically, since the lipstick is matte, I feel like they kind of wanted it to reflect in the packaging as well. So it's a basic black casing with the red letters. Although it looks kind of elegant, the thing I don't like about it is, can you, can you guys see it? If your fingers are oily, well mine is oily because I touched makeup remover. If your fingers are oily, it's going to leave marks on the lipstick case. Or if you have grimy hands, then you will probably or you will most likely leave thumbprints on the case of your lipstick. So if you're not really particular about that, then it's fine. But I'm kind of really particular with it and I feel like my lipstick is a little bit dirty when I see the thumb mark. So it kind of gets to me a little bit. Since this is the bright red, I'm going to swatch the rosy brown on my lips and let's see how nude it is. So I really like the color but I feel like the lipstick itself needs two swipes or two coats to really see the pigments. So far I like it but not as much as the brick red because I was kind of expecting a more nude shade and this isn't really that nude. 
Though it's very lightweight and it's such a pretty color, especially if you are a medium to fair skin tone. But definitely the one I wore earlier, the brick red, is such a pretty color. And I think that that would work perfect with all skin tones, especially the morenas. Okay, so that's it and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!